Hello, I'm Marion County Commissioner Kevin Cameron, and I'm honored to share with you good things that are happening in Marion County and lay out some challenges that are facing us today and in the future. Marion County is geographically and demographically very diverse. We have an all funds budget of approximately $400 million. We have more incorporated cities than any other county in Oregon, 20. And 15 of those are small, and we do our best to support them. Let me highlight some accomplishments that have been made in the recent years. We've added additional sheriff deputies to support the rural areas of the Little North Fork and North R Santa Am River Canyon, and we formed an East Salem Public Safety Service District, providing a full-time deputy in Jan Ray and Four Corners, both unincorporated areas of Salem. With your support, Marion County now has an OSU Extension Service District to support our state's leading agricultural businesses and 4-H programs for our youth. And Marion County is joined with Salem, Kaiser, and cities in Polk County by forming a homeless initiative and hiring a full-time coordinator to help with the homeless issue. I'm on the board of United Way, and we raised and awarded $100,000 to help open the first ever youth homeless shelter, a vision brought forth by one of our United Way high school board members, Raul. I have personally worked with community leaders and citizens to make sure the future of Detroit Lake and our domestic water supplies will be addressed by the Army Corps of Engineers and reduce the impact on our agricultural community. I provided economic development leadership that has led to record investments in Marion County and record numbers of job growth. We have also overseen grants such as those awarded to the Detroit Lake Marinas that will help them improve operations during low water years. And Mill City recently received an $8.1 million flat grant that will help them rebuild their old footbridge and restore their traffic bridge. It's always good to share our accomplishments, but I also would like to share some of our future challenges. Homelessness is a major issue impacting almost every community in our country, our county, and our state. It even impacts our protected rural forest and farmlands. I will continue to work with all stakeholders to try and improve this situation. But I must admit, this is a difficult problem to solve, and there's not one magic solution. I will continue to place a priority on our public safety systems and continue to lead with creative, innovative, result-based programs. Water quality and quantity will continue to be an important issue 200,000 citizens depend on the North Santa Am River and Detroit Dam for their domestic water supply. The rural economies in the canyon have become de dependent on this water, as well as the needs must be balanced as attempts are made to restore the native fish populations. I need to mention the third bridge across the Willamette River. I supported the land use decision that was made in October of 2017 to move the bridge forward but the Salem City Council has stalled the path forward. I support the existing plan, and I caution you to listen carefully to others who say they do as well, but not this one. It will be another 20 to 30 years if they start all over. It's just a sound bet, bite to stop the third bridge. And lastly, Marion County has taken a stewardship approach in budgeting. However, the future of PERS and health care costs continue to outpace the percentage of revenue growth. And this may restrict the ability to add or even maintain services in the future. I will continue to place a high priority on our employees and stewardship of your tax dollars. This sometimes require diffi requires difficult decisions that I know I will need to make. I am honored to serve as one of your three Marion County Commissioners. And I would appreciate your support in this election cycle to allow me to continue. I know working with all citizens and other partners, we can continue to improve the livability for every woman, man, and child in Marion County and beyond. And thank you.